Looking for a fun winter camp for your kids? Helen Woodward Animal Center, one of my favorite spots. They're offering safe camps for children, sticking to all the CDC guidelines, uh, learning compassion, having hands-on experiences with the animals. Speaking of animals, I've got Savannah from Helen Woodward with an animal of her own there. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Now, um, please tell me about the little buddy you have next to you, Mr. Cusco. Yeah, Cusco is one of our animal ambassadors, and he is an alpaca. So he's one of the animals that kids get to meet if they come to our camps. <gasps> I just recently was at an alpaca ranch, and they are beautiful and very yes. gentle, smart animals. Yeah, they're incredibly smart. We have his little friend Cusco here with him, or Kronk, I'm sorry, Kronk and Cusco. Um, and yeah, they're incredibly smart and they love meeting the kids. You know what I heard that they don't like when you touch the top of their head. Is that true? You know, it's a trained behavior. Yeah. So these guys don't mind too much. Like we can pet their heads <laughs> and feel their little fuzzy fluff, um, but they have to be taught that that's okay. Oh my goodness. Now, t please tell us about, you guys are offering all these like virtual and in-person camps where kids can learn about being a veterinarian and about the animals. Walk us through those. Yeah, it's, it's actually really awesome. So there's not a lot of places right now that are able to offer what we're offering. And so we're fortunate enough to be able to be outdoors in a safe environment and follow all the CDC guidelines so that we can run our camps. And we've got a whole handful of camps coming up, um, including in January and February, and then again in March. They're all on the website now, and when kids come, they get to meet the animals, do games, uh, create crafts, all in a very safe environment, so they're able to hang out with other kids and have a good time and learn about these wonderful animals. So can you uh, highlight some of the specific virtual camps you guys are gonna be doing, or in person for that matter? Yeah, so they're all in person right now, and we have uh, a few different camps coming up. We have MLK Camp, which is gonna be on Martin Luther King Day. We have a February camp that takes place in February. We also have a couple specialty camps like animal care camp and you can be a vet camp. Mm -hmm. And those camps are, are really unique in the sense that they focus on uh, careers with animals. So you can be a vet camp, for instance, takes kids that are interested in being veterinarians and they get to tour our facilities, learn about what a vet might do, practice some of vet techniques on our animals and then animal care camp focuses on what it would be like to work here at the center with the animal ambassadors, what it takes to care for the animals and make sure that they're happy and healthy, how to train them to, to interact with the public. So those two are really popular for kids that are looking for careers with animals. I love that because I think as most children, I wanted to be a veterinarian growing up, but I never kind of yeah. dabbled in it besides having pets. So I think this is really great right. to, for kids to see yeah. if they truly can handle it because that's a tough gig. Yeah, exactly, because you, you don't necessarily know everything that it takes unless you get some exposure to it. So that's why that camp is so incredible in the sense that it lets kids get a taste of what it would be like and, and help them either, uh, you know, want to pursue that oh career or maybe they're looking for a different animal career. You guys are showing cute photos. Well, we, we're showing cute photos of kittens and other animals. So I'm, oh, I'm yes. just ooing and eyeing. I have a special spot in my heart for you guys because you know I fostered a cat with you, a couple cats with you guys. Aww. And you know, I think that's still a big need that for you guys right now, people fostering animals. Yeah, absolutely, because we haven't, uh, we've been fortunate enough in the sense that Savannah, we haven't had to we close our doors at all this year. Uh -oh. And so all those, those cats and dogs that would otherwise need help, we've been able to help. And it is because of people I think we like fosters Savannah, and our wonderful sure. adoption center. So yeah, we absolutely do either. need help. Did we lose them? Savannah, there we go. Now I can't hear. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think we lost connection for a little bit. You know, probably our internet went out. Someone forgot to pay the bill. Savannah, where can people go for more information on all these camps? They can go to animalcenter.org forward slash education and all of the programs are on there, including the rates, the times, the dates, all that kind of stuff. You guys are such a great facility. You're doing such great things for the animals and the kids and, and really the whole community. So please give uh, Cusco a, a kiss or a hug, whatever you want to do for him there. He'd, he'd want a treat. So oh, I'll okay. go give him some treats <laughs> right. right after this. <laughs> Savannah, thank you. Have a good morning. Thank you. You too.